first DVDs I want to talk about are professional trapping series. These are unlike most DVDs you'll get for the simple fact they're they're about an hour long, some of them being an hour and a half long. They're very detailed and they're very one topic specific. So instead of having when you get a video and he's showing how to do this and this and this, this takes a, a specific topic and really drills down on all the intricate details of doing that and in a normal video format that's just not shown that's why we started the professional trapping series so we can do that right now we have a dirt hole beyond the basics and it is very beyond the basics it's not something you're going to be reading about in magazines or seeing at demos we're going to go into eastern flat sets that produce is another dvd that's in that and it gets really in the details of how we've learned to take coyotes in large numbers with flat sets in the east where you got to deal with sod and stuff like that very informational based it's not an entertainment style video but it's a training it's like taking instruction type video the third is coyote locations that produce and what we do is we actually go out on the line on different places in the east and we break down the coyotes location on a bigger scale and a micro scale. We look at fields, how the coyotes are gonna use them, where your sets should be, how you can set it up so you're not wasting traps or burning traps, but you still have all the travel ways taken care of so you can be a, a better and more efficient coyote trapper. So we, so we have the dirt holes beyond the basics, eastern flat sets that produce, and coyote locations. These are one hour DVDs that are really detailed training style DVDs, like if you're taking instruction from me or one of the schools, it's very educational. If you want to become a better trapper, it's going to be hard to find something better than these. Now we have two coming out this year that I can't show you because they're being edited as I speak. One is Crushing Coon with the Alcatraz. It'll be about an hour, hour and a half long. Um, very detailed on using the Alcatraz. It's going to really get in on how to beat competition, how to keep your stuff hid. A lot of neat little nifty tricks on keeping thieves from stealing your, your dog proof traps. Things like that, very detailed. Only focusing on one style trap. It's a system that I've learned over several years that'll be in that video. The second one is tactical five by five coon trapping with Scott Adams. It's not a video that I'm personally making, but he's up in Northern Ohio and he is nailing big raccoons in five by five conner bears in trails and using some boxes and outlaw sets and stuff like that. And when he was telling me he could do this, I didn't really believe him, guys, to be honest with you. So I went up there and sure enough, he's, I, I now feel as confident using a five by five in the east as I would a 220 that I thought you would need to have that size. Because we had to start adjusting the hole because we were hip catching with his system, 30 pound coon in five by five conner bears to get that down to the actual net catch we're looking for so be looking for those two coming out they'll be at the nationals that's crushing coon with the alcatraz by me and that'll be tactical five by five raccoon trapping with scott adams all these in the are in the professional trapping series very educational if you want to become a better trapper you're going to get a uh, a load of information for very little money out of these dvds this is a book that I put out a couple of years ago and it's a full size book. This is not a couple of articles with a bunch of pictures and I call it a book. It is a for real book. It is 90 full pages of nothing but Eastern wolfing. And the reason I call it that, I'm not saying that I'm a wolfer by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a, it's a totally different system that's been preached since the 70s on how to catch a lot of animals. The whole book, the whole premise of the book is how we go out and we take a high number of coyotes per square mile. Because let's face it, unless you live out west or you've got just unlimited amount of terrain with easy access, running two or 300 miles and bypassing 50 miles at a stretch or 20 miles doesn't make any sense with fuel prices. So what we've done is we've taken our control style and merged it in fur trapping so you can go to a few properties but still have a high coyote catch. And that's a book from Eastern Wolfer. Now, one thing we offer, and this is a very popular option a lot of trappers are taking us up on, 
we have all three of the professional trapping series, the dirt hole, the flat set, and the location, plus the woofer book. And we have a special, we're calling it the, the, the coyote bulk package. All these together, the three videos and the book are $69 free shipping. So if you're wanting to get a lot of information at a really good price, talking three videos and a book, it's gonna, it's, it's, it's just a no brainer because the information you'll gain in that will definitely up your catch in just one year if you put this stuff to use. Predator Control Group used to put out a publication called Long Liner Times. We did this for three years. As we went more to the, the web base using the videos instead of written text, we had to discontinue this because basically we just didn't have the time of the day to run a magazine and the websites, do our trapping supply business and all that. But we do have all three years, 13 issues of Long Liner Time available for, first, for purchase. Now this is a lot more hardcore magazine than you're going to find that's on the market anywhere. It's real blunt, it's real to the point, it defies a lot of myths that general trapping publications keep seem to want to promoting. But if you're looking for down to earth, real information that's going to help you catch more fur, you're going to have a hard time finding anything better in long liner times. Now all 13 issues, you can go to our store on predatorcontrolgroup.com or wolfernation.com and you'll see when you click on long liner times in the store it'll give you who wrote the article what the articles are in each issue you can buy the whole 13 or you can buy just the ones that appeal to you most great information really good information have you ever wondered what it's like to be a professional trapper what does a professional trapper do over a year's time i mean you read about it in a couple of pages in a magazine or talk to one at a convention or something, but Year Long Blitzkrieg is a four hour DVD that we put out probably about five years ago, and it's still one of our best sellers because as the word spread about it, it's just very interesting. In the video, it follows me as I go all the way from the early season, before trapping season, doing control work, all the way through fur season, and afterwards, we do a lot of coyote stuff in here, bobcats, gray fox, snaring, foot holing. We do a lot of water work out of a boat, uh, in creeks doing beaver, muskrats, raccoons, dog proof traps, whole nine yards. It's what, basically what it is to be a professional trapper. You can see that for yourself. Plus there's a lot of good educational stuff in here. A lot of the times when we're showing the raccoon sets or how we're hiding them or how we're catching so many coyotes and cats and beaver, muskrats, things like that, how to build a colony trap. It's just power packed with information. Year long Blitzkrieg, four hours long, a lot of entertainment, and more importantly, a whole lot of education. Several years ago, I went trapping with Matt Jones up in Land Between the Lakes in Kentucky. Let me tell you, it was a miserable trip. Rain, mud, freezing ground, gets hot, gets cold. I mean, everything that trapping in the east, it showed it to the point. Me and Matt went out and we showed you how to deal with all the mud, the rain, using footholds and snares, trapping on public ground, how to get away from competition, different things like that. So if you're interested, you trap in the east, you're going after coyotes, you deal with mud and rain, Coyote Chaos is a great video. It's about two hours long, lots of animals, lots of instruction. I'm sure most people over their time of being in trapping, they've wondered what is the secret to guys that go out and catch so much fur? How come I'm not catching the amount of fur they have? We live in the same area. We have the same time off. I guarantee you the biggest difference between a numbers trapper and someone that's not catching the same amount of numbers is the mindset. So when I wrote Mindset of Professional, this has been out about seven years. Great selling book. And the reason for that is it's another full size book, but it really gets into the mindset. If you want to become a professional trapper or one of these numbers trapper and you want to understand how they think, what makes them tick, a little motivation, this book will definitely get you there. But I will have to warn you, if you're a uh, type A personality, you got a little bit of testosterone running through your veins, this is not something you're going to want to read before bed or you probably won't be going to sleep. This is one of the most hardcore um, motivational and prepping books for someone that wants to catch numbers and if you're really easily offended and you just want to go out and 
set a few traps and have you know have a good time this may not be the book for you because it may seem insulting to you not the intention but it's for guys that are really hard charging full warriors who want to go out and take a lot of fur in a heartbeat and know what the mindset of that is because it's greatly different than what you read about in Trapper and Predator Caller, I promise you. Two videos that I'm extremely proud of that I've made over the years because this was an idea from a student, not mine. I was giving instruction to a guy that came down and we spent all day on nothing but snaring from coyotes to cats, fox, coons, mink, beaver, otter, the whole nine yards. When we got done with the end of the day, he said, that's exactly what we need on the market for a snaring video. Instead of so much entertainment value, let's put let's get some serious instruction in there. And when he told me that, I was like, no one would be interested in that. They want to see a lot of animals and stuff like that. Well, I took, it, I took what he said to heart, and that's where high performance snaring came from. This is pure instruction. Not, inter not a lot of entertainment. There's not a single animal on this one. It's pure instruction for three hours, just like you were taking snaring instruction from me. About three years after that, I did high performance snaring two, which just builds on the three hours of high performance snaring one. It gets into a lot more technical stuff as far as really upping your numbers. I wouldn't advise getting the two unless you had the one for the simple fact I'm not I don't go back and repeat a lot of the same things in one so if you're not used to the style of snaring that I'm talking about in high performance snaring one high performance snaring two may be kind of confusing for you but if you're really looking and you want to become a lot more proficient snareman you're gonna have a hard time finding any better information on the market than you will out of high performance snaring now let's look at the, the cat lures that I have and, and what, they, what they are so you'll know exactly what you're ordering. The, the first one that I'm going to talk about is the Cat Collector again, tremendous cat lure. This is one that has been working as far out as California all the way to North Carolina, deep Texas and the top of Michigan. And I've actually had some guys up in Canada with the lynx, even at the sub-zero temperatures they have that they're really doing very well with this and they've reordered for that simple reason. Cat collector, if you're not sure what to get and you want to go after cats, it's probably going to be your first thing that I would pick if I were you. <clears throat> now, the, the other cat lure that I'm selling is Cat Fancy. I was just going to sell the cat collector because I've, I've learned to like it so much personally, but there's so many guys that's, that's used Cat, cat Fancy over the course of the years that they kind of got upset that I was going to take this off the market. So we do have Cat Fancy. And the Cat Fancy comes in a two ounce bottle and it's um, $10. Now this is, it has the catnip and it has more of the traditional type cat ingredients is in it. The Cat Collector does not, but it's only four ounces and it's $20 a bottle for that. <clears throat> the Unfair Advantage, this is a very neat um, type lure. Guys that's never seen this um, or heard of it at a convention, I, I get kind of tickled. It, it's a glow-in-the-dark lure. It's visual only, guys. It's the, there's, there's a smell to it, but it's not something you're going to draw an animal to go over and dig it up. What Unfair Advantage does, it's in a very thick paste form. You can stick it to trees, you can stick it on feathers, you can stick it on dog-proof traps, you can do anything. But what it does, it's a lure for the eyes. It's eye peel. When the sun hits this, it'll glow for 12 hours at your set. And what I use this on are cats. I also use the unfair advantage on raccoons, fox, and beaver. I haven't played around with it on otter yet, but I think it'll do pretty good. What you don't want to use unfair advantage on, though, I'm telling you, is cows. It will scare them to death because it's such a strange uh, visual attractant out there that's not natural. But on your cats and your coons and your beaver and your fox, they're really attracted to it. A lot of ADC guys are getting away from using just uh, the, the lures in the cages and they're putting feathers with this on there on the feathers. And as the feathers move back and forth at night, it's glowing, house cats are going in there after them. Just with the visual. I use, I use this a lot when it comes to cat trapping because if you have a cat flag that's showy with this on there, they can see it for hundreds of yards because I can. 
Now, if it's something you're using a more subtle type of flag during the day when people are out, they're not going to be able to see that it glows at night. But as it moves around at night, it's glowing. And it, you really get a lot of animals to your um, sets by using the visual glow in the dark, and it's called Unfair Advantage. It's in a four ounce bottle, and it, uh, it's $20 for the four ounce, but there's a lot to use in there. You don't use a lot out of set. It'd be wasted if you did. Now, the other predator stuff that I have is the otter call because otter is a predator. This has probably got more testimonials on any other call lure that, that I've ever been exposed to. And back when the, the otter were really bringing good money, I started playing around with a lot of different ingredients because otter are one of those animals that are hard to stop and hard to get them to investigate an odor. And over a couple of years of me trying and wasting a lot of money, I finally come up with otter call. People are using it all over the place and they're catching their otter with it with foot holes, getting them to go through conibears, different things like that. But you want to use it where they're going to be playing and hunting. You're not going to stop them in a riffle when they're blowing past you. But if you're looking for something to stop your otter or to put a little bit above your coon sets to pick up some extra otter, otter call will definitely do you good. And it's $10 for two ounces. The last one that I'm going to do on the predators is a gray fox. Um, and the gray getter is, is one of those dual purpose lures that um, in, the, in the south it seems to do more on gray fox than it does raccoons. But when I get up, I sell more gray getter to Pennsylvania as a coon lure than I do actual coon lures except for some of my dogless stuff. The raccoons, when you get up north, they seem that they can't stay away from this. When you also pick up a lot of your grays. It's designed for grays, but it's also a tremendous raccoon lure and it's gray getter and that is it's got a it's more of a sweet smell and it's got a after it's got a backlash to it to help push it out and it's a two ounce bottle and it's nine dollars it's a little cheaper for me to make this is the otter call see how thick that is that's what you'll be getting when you order this the gray getter also very thick That's the consistency of gray getter. Now the unfair advantage is it's 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 almost like a, like a hardened landling or something. It's it's really stiff, but it doesn't freeze up on you in the winter time. You can use it no matter how cold it gets. Now this is the consistency of cat collector. Again, it's not watered down very smearable. In 2010 on one of my trips to Texas plus some other stuff in the southeast I made a video called Cat Collector. Cat Collector is four hours long and besides having just a ton of cats on there it's very entertaining. It's also probably one of the most educational bobcat videos that you'll be able to get your hands on. If you're wanting to catch more bobcats or get in the hundred bracket of bobcats are just going out in Pennsylvania because you can only catch one but you want to make sure you get him while you're on vacation cat collector is going to be the the video that's going to take you give you the information and be able to let you go out and take that information and put it to use now the system that I use in cat collector is one that I've been playing with and perfecting now for almost six years I keep modifying and modifying it till I can come up with better ways to catch cats because thing about cats guys is is they're obstinate there's like a house cat they never seem to do what you want them to do so the system that I use in cat collector is one that allows me where I see very few misses and then, and then control it from the time he sees the beginning of my set at a hundred yards away till the final few inches where he's gonna be in the trap the system in this to anybody that's in cat trapping is gonna enjoy it and you will definitely catch more bobcats with the information in this the information in here is what has allowed me to go to a one ranch down in Texas and in the last two years catch over 140 off of one ranch. While I'm at the ranch, what you see in cat collector is exactly what I'm doing to catch those numbers. Over 100 cats a year for several years, it's because of this system right here. The information you're going to find in cat collector for $45 for four hours is, is really cheap for the experience and the, the leap ahead 
You're not gonna have to go through all the trial and errors that I did. You'll find out, which you probably already are, that if you do a standard style predator set, you miss more cats than you catch. This is gonna get you out of that and get you into more cats, cat collector. Now our call lure that we have from Predator Control Group is called Triple X. It's a very dark, black looking substance. It's, uh, I mean, it'll, it'll actually stick to anything. So if you're using it above your set on a tree or a twig or whatever, it's gonna stay there. Rain's not gonna mess with that at all. It'll just run right over the top of it. Works when it's really cold. It works when it's really warm. But what makes this different from a lot of other call lures out there, it's not just skunk in a base. It's actually the overriding uh, ingredient of this will push that skunk or work in combination with it, I guess is a better way of putting it. But it'll it'll push that out there instead of just smelling skunk. Now it's this is this is a three part call lure. It does three different things as far as reaching out and getting the attention of the animal. It's got curiosity, it's got territory, and it's got food. And when they all three go out there, it's way better than just a putting skunk out there uh, in some type of base and letting it go by itself. When you use Triple X, you're getting a lot more value for your money than just over pure skunk. It is loud. It's another one of those the post office gives us a hard time with sometimes. But if you're looking for a call lure to put above your set, you're gonna have a hard time finding something better than this. And if you're somewhere where it's really cold, go ahead and put it right down in the hole or right at your flat set when it gets a blow about five, 10 degrees and you're not gonna have any trouble whatsoever. It's a little too strong, in my opinion, to put down in a hole when it's 30, 40 degrees. But when it gets super cold, go and drop it down in there because a call lure with a hole will actually help pull, push out your other lure and bait odors. Triple X will definitely do that for you. One of, the big, one of the biggest questions I always get, how do you make a living from trapping? So I put a lot of thought into, into how to explain what we do, how to explain how an average trapper with a lot of, lot of guts and determination, how they can do what we do. Because if I can do it, guys, anybody can do it. You just have to be a little more, pay a little more attention than most guys are willing to do and willing to go that extra mile. So we came up with a video, six hours long. It's more like a, a lecturing type video it's not how to catch animals it's not how to make a set it's not where to put the traps it's how to make money it's how you can make money as a fur trapper as a supply dealer and as a control trapper we go in on how to get customers keeping those customers why most guys fail how to avoid that there's a lot of things that you're going to see in here that you wish they would have taught you at school or if you're in business now you wish you would have known these years ago being successful is not by chance being a successful trapper as far as money goes is not always how good of a trapper you are but how good you could market those skills and products to a customer so if you're really wanting to do that serious money making strategies is exactly what it is it's teaching you how to make more money at your trapping whether it be a fur trapper a control trapper or a dealer